Hey guys, since there's a lot of uh, misconceptions and misinformation about how extensions work on GNOME when you go to a new version of GNOME, I kind of want to help you figure this out. Now, when GNOME decides to make a new version or to bring updates to their current version, they have to change a value. So they have to go from, let's say if it's nothing major, from 48.4 or 48.3, to 48.5 that's not gonna break extensions or do anything weird whatsoever all right that's not how that works if they changed value from 48 to 49 then all current extensions that use version 48 will not work okay they do not break they are disabled by gnome shell on purpose to prevent any weird issues from occurring okay the extension still works but it's disabled. It's turned off for safety reasons. Now there's the confusing part. Everybody tells you extensions break. Here's the thing. A developer has the alpha, beta, and release candidate cycles to be able to update their extensions on release for the new version of GNOME. Now, unfortunately, here's the problem. Some developers are just too lazy to even bother. And then GNOME has to take the rap for this certain extension not working due to the developer not giving a shit about its user base or its community that it's built up, that it's helped uh, bring more usability to GNOME itself. And then the whole term, it broke, came into existence, which is utter BS. If anybody ever tells you that, don't be friends with them and just block them on Discord or Reddit. So how do you solve this problem? Well, if we head into share, if we head into dot local share and we head into gnome shell and we go into extensions, you notice these are my extensions. And sometimes it's as easy as going in here and we need to find something called the metadata, the metadata.json. And sometimes it could be in any one of these folders. And sometimes it's not here at all or my brain is just not functioning the way that it used to. It's right here. See this? We open it up and you notice 48, 47, 46, and 45. These are the versions of GNOME that this extension is currently enabled for. But what happens if a new version comes out? Well, it's as simple as this. That's it. And 99% of the time, this makes the extension enabled again all right but there are certain times and it doesn't happen all the time okay where gnome developers make internal changes to improve the functionality which ends up changing the functionality of the dash which is actually our dock right now and this is not enough that's where people like me come in where i will jump on gnome 49 alpha and i will do the testing and I will go to as many extensions as possible and report the issues. Okay. Then I will wait a little bit and I'll go back and I will pull down the pull request, which tests the extensions for 49. And then I will give my feedback, whether it's good, if I find bugs, if I find issues or not. This leads to those extensions fully working on release date for everybody, not just me. And there's lots of people that do this. Okay, there's like a whole community of people who go through and make sure extensions are enabled and functioning on day one with updates for 49. That is it. That is all you need to do 99.999% of the time. And people don't understand this. They put GNOME down because they think extensions work a different way than they actually do. But this is not the only thing that we have to do. We also have to bump the version number. So we have to bump it to version 101. Now that's not hard to understand. I know there's a lot of really intelligent people out here that makes this that that understood exactly what I just said. GNOME extensions do not break. GNOME shell updates to a new version number. The extensions need to be updated to this new version number and any alterations to the code that these extensions use must be made for them to be enabled again. But that is rare. 99% of the time .9999 you can just change the shell uh, the shell version inside the metadata.json and the version number 
and voila, it works again. I can literally hit save right now. And congratulations, we are now on version 101 and we now have GNOME 49 support. Whether that remains true or not, that's a different story. But I figured this video would be worth making instead of having to see one of the Reddit warriors be like, huh, GNOME extensions break. I don't want to have to go through hoops. That's the big excuse I hear. Hoops. It's so complicated to theme and make GNOME pretty. It takes like one to two minutes. Like everything you do on Linux, if you want it to be the way you want it, is going to require learning and effort. If you're not willing to do that, okay, that is a you issue. That is a skill issue. That is a, that's you being lazy. Okay, don't be that. Everything we do in life is a learning experience. So when you learn to do something the first time, the second time is going to be so much faster. If you learn to do something the third time and you actually improve from the second time, you're going to do it even faster. Like for me, when I jump into GNOME, I can get this type of start, this, this look up and running in under two to three minutes without issue. Plasma takes so much longer because there's so much screwing around that I have to do because it's so janky and hates to be customized and it's just so problematic with this. I install a few extensions, I set a few settings, and I'm done. That's it. It's so easy, it's so fast, it's so efficient. So no, extensions do not break. Please stop with the misinformation, stop with the rhetoric, stop with the bullshit, stop believing Reddit at every turn. If someone tells you that on Discord, again, right click, ignore, don't even bother engaging. We don't deal with trolls, okay? If they want to go around spreading misinformation, whatever. That's their problem. But I'll make it mine to obviously correct them, and if you want to be that guy, go for it too. Congratulations, you now, now, you now know how to update an extension, for the most part, to a new version of GNOME, so you don't have to sit around and wait and jump through hoops. Pretty cool, huh? Let me know your experiences in the comments below. Bye, everybody.